Hello YouTube, this is Tier of Price 67, and we are back with our week three of the BBR. This week we're going up against Dr. Slacking and his Cotswold Whimsicott. So looking going straight into it, looking at our teams, he does have uh, some scary threats. He has Latios, of course, he has King Gambit, Manaphy, Sneasler, and Terra Lokix. And Terra Lokix with both stabs. Now, Terra Lokix is very scary because of like the fact that he has tinted lens ability plus first impression sucker punch. So he has a lot of priority and very powerful attack just deals a bunch of damage. Terra Bug and <laughs> Terra Bug kind of just rips through my team, if I'm being honest. So that's definitely going to be a fun one to prep for. So we do have to worry about low kicks there. Also, Cerule Edge can be a big issue as well. So he's got plenty of threats to go up against me. But uh, going into it here, if you haven't caught the last battle, please do check it out. It was a fun one to say the least. But... Going into it here, we're going to start out with Dragonite. So this Dragonite is just going to be a D-Dance, E-Speed, Earthquake, and Roost set. So D-Dance, two attacks, and then Roost. It's actually very physically defensive, as I don't really need a lot of attack to like start breaking through his team once I get a couple DDs, D-Dances off. And the, a lot of the defense really helps against stuff like Sneasler or Low Kicks. So with this much defense, I am able to take a plus four Stone Edge from Sneasler from full. Or a plus two if my bulletin scale is broken. So that's what this uh, Dragon Knight's kind of here for. Just really take on his team really well. And yeah, so uh, that's the Dragon Knight set. Next up we have the Zerud. The Zerud is a just a max speed and a lot of attack investment with U-turn, close combat, protect, power it. Protect, of course, for first impression from the low kicks. Once he clicks first impression, he kind of becomes a sitting duck for... My Zerud to do some damage to it, mostly. Probably just U-turn though, if it's Terra Bug. And if it's Terra Dark, then he does need to switch because uh, Sucker Punch isn't going to do a lot and I'm going to be able to destroy him back. I'm running the Aka Berry specifically for the Zerud Edge, though I don't really do much damage back to it now that I look at it, so whoops. Alright, so I guess that's a misprep on my part. Uh, originally I was supposed to have knockoff on this, but... I guess I took it out at one point for U-turn, so I am running Aka Berry with no way to really break through the Surreal Edge, so that's great. But, I can deal some good damage to the Surreal Edge, especially if it's weak armor it already has a defense drop. Uh, Power Up can do some good damage. I can U-turn now, though U-turn isn't really going to help me much in the long run, but Power Up should be able to do some good damage. Next we have Metagross, uh, this is the Assault Vest variant with Knockoff, Meteor Mash, Ice Punch, Earthquake. Don't really have a lot of speed in it, but it's going to be able to hit really hard with Knock, Meteor Mash, Ice Punch, Earthquake. Also being able to really take on Latios with the Special Defense and HP Investment. is able to take, I believe, two Shadow Balls. So that's huge for Metagross here. Able to just knock off the Latios, Meteor Mash, Ice Punch, that sort of thing. And so yeah, that's the Metagross. Next we have Iron Valiant. I am not a booster energy set this week. I am a leftover set. I want to get Iron Valiant in more often and just be SD, knockoff, spirit break, close combat. Uh, Iron Valiant really threatens his team, especially if if the Lottie is Scarf and locked into Draco or if like Lottie clicks Draco at any point, gets down to minus two. Uh, my Iron Valiant can get in, just really like set up on it and then really threaten most of his team. Uh, the big issue is the Glaring Weezing, but Glaring Weezing does not want to come in until it knows that I am physical instead of special. I is able to take on low kicks very easily since all of low kicks stab is quad resisted, so even if Tinted Lens, it's not going to do a lot of damage. So, this is kind of just like <laughs> the low kicks emergency check in a way. Next we have the Hisuian Samurai. It is actually a mixed set. With Ceaseless Edge, Hyper Pump, Flip Turn, and Sacred Sword. I am minus speed, but I do still have enough speed to outspeed Glaring Weezing, most Glaring Weezing sets. And I was looking at the team, I was like, there isn't really anything worth outspeeding per se. So I was like, let me just be a like a like a minimum speed set so I can run Hydro Pump. And this Hydro Pump is able to 2 hit KO a defensive Glaring Weezing. Sacred Sword, of course, takes out. Uh, the King Gambit Hydro Pump can do a lot of damage to Surreal Edge without proccing its 
uh, weak armor, and then Ceaseless Edge also does a lot while getting spikes up, so overall it's just really hard to move on. Also rocking Flip Turn in my case if you didn't give it out. And finally we have the Sweeper rocking Life Orb, Agility, Hurricane, Esper Wing, and Roost. It is a Terra Flying set, and this kind of just goes in on this whole team. Uh, fun fact, a Hurricane from a Tinted Lens Life Orb uh, Hisuian Braviary has a 30% chance to Oko a max HP King Gambit from full. So if I'm able to get that roll, that'd be huge. But he doesn't really have great switches into this, especially once I agility up. It becomes really hard for him to switch in. It just becomes a matter of can I hit my Hurricanes or not. So hopefully this is able to just kind of like sweep his team in the end game here. Uh, I would probably want to come in versus something like the Galarian Weezing or the even the Glide Score. If it's like more of a, like a defensive bulky set, I am able to come in versus it. Just kind of just uh, terror flying and then uh, what's it called? And then agility on that because it's not going to be able to do a bunch of damage. It can get rid of my life orb, which does suck. But if I am able to have spikes up as well, the life orb isn't going to matter much in the long run. So yeah, that is the team. Uh, hopefully this is going to be able to go uh, well. I I am very excited to just use the Swimming Bravery specifically because I've never used it before, so I, I kind of want to see what it does. And yeah, so that is the team. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll catch you all once the battle begins. All right, and we are connected with Dr. Slacking. And so looking at his team, he wants to bring the Lycan Rock, the Sneezler, the Galarian Weezing, the Low Kicks, the King Gambit, and the Latios. So, first thing, no Manaphy, <laughs> and I'm so ecstatic about that because I only had so much for Manaphy. No Cerulege either, which means that's huge because I had nothing for Cerulege, uh, let's be honest. So, those two mons not being here is huge for me. What do I want to lead off though? Uh, I think he could lead off low kicks, honestly. Get a huge, uh, what's it called, first impression off on my team. I believe... I believe you have... Uh, Protect, yeah, you have protects. So I think I want to lead off Saru. Yeah, I think that's what I want to do here. And then, yeah. Alright, so I think that's uh, what I want to do. I don't have any like, Zorark or anything, so I don't need to worry about Team Order after my first spawn. So, uh, good luck, have fun to my opponent, and let's get this battle started. Hopefully, he leads low kicks. Though, uh,. Any other lead I think is okay outside of uh, Sneasler or Glaring Weezing. Let's see what he wants to lead though. Plague. Low kicks. Okay. Alright, so I'm gonna uh, proc the protect here. I want him to Terra first thing, if possible. If anything, I think it's just first impression. It's like first impression is pretty free versus me. I mean, if he does SD, that's fine. As long as he's not a scar. If he clicks anything but first impression, I'm going to assume so. Okay, so he is Terra Dark. I want to see what he clicks here, though. He clicks U-turn. I'm assuming Scarf. Okay. Alright, so I'm not even going to stay in. I'm just going to go hard into Iron Valiant. Okay, that did about uh, 56 damage. So we can face off of that. I'm assuming he has tinted lens. Uh, let's see. Low kicks. Pivot. He's Terra Dark. U-turn does 
Yeah, that's that's about mid roll for it for Max Attack Jolly and Tinted Lens. So I am assuming that this is in fact a uh, Choice Scarf very would be my assumption, which can be a little annoying. But I do have this still. So depending on what he wants to go into, Hay Fever that is the Sneasler. He goes straight into Sneasler. All right. I do not want to stay in versus this. I don't really have much to go into. Uh, I can go Metagross. I'm not a big fan of doing it, but I can still go Metagross. I could also go Dragon Knight. I mean, I do have Roost on this set, so I think Dragon Knight's okay. If he Dire Claws me, sleep, sleeps me, then it is what it is, but I think Dragon Knight's okay here. He doesn't get Ice Punch or anything, so... The best way he can hit me is Stone Edge. He does Dire Claw. He gets the Poison, okay. That's a little annoying, but it's not the end of the world here. Uh, he could go Larry Weezing, he could go... Um, how much do I do with... Weezing. Play defensive versus... Uh, Dragonite. If he's neutralizing gas, Earthquake does a lot. I'm assuming he's not neutralizing gas, though. <laughs> If I'm being honest, I think I just want to. I want to double into. Uh, I don't really have a way to beat a uh, glaring reason. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just going to double into. Uh... So Kirby. If he stays in, then I need to switch out again. He does withdraw. I'm assuming it's a Weezing. Edward Newgate. I believe that's King Gambit. Okay. I mean, I'll take it. I'm just going to Ceaseless Edge. Start getting spikes up on this side. Does he want to stay in and risk a sacred and risk a sacred sword? I mean, he could. He does. All right. I mean, one set of spikes do go up. What's he click here? Hexes, right? Should live. Yeah. And sucker won't kill. I'm just going to sacred sword. He could be the fighting berry. Like he could be chapel berry, and I do believe he would live. Yeah, he is Chapel Berry. Uh, does he live this? He probably does. Yeah, he does. He does X Scissors, so. I do go down. Uh, unfortunately, I do lose one way of like hitting the Flaring Music. But his King Gambit is very low, which is so nice. Does he? I think he just sacks King Gambit, honestly. But what mon? I'm just gonna go into Rose Flat and just click U turn. And just U turn. So my, my spikes that are going down early kind of sucks, but I think overall I'm in okay position. Uh, Sucker Punch is going to do much here. He revealed to be Chapel, so he's not... Yeah, Sucker doesn't do much. And I just need turn out. What mod do I want to go into, though? I don't want to go into my Braviary yet. I think I could go Metagross, honestly. 
like now that King Gambit's gone, he doesn't hit Negro super hard with anything. So I'm curious what he wants to go into now. I guess low kicks can hit me hard. Yeah, low kicks. But here's the thing, I always just go hard into uh, Iron Valiant on low kicks. He does knock me off. Fair play. I want to knock off back? I think I do. I'm going to knock off back. I don't think he wants to stay in, because knock off definitely doesn't kill me from here, especially now that I don't have an item yet. So something's getting knocked here. The Glaring Weezing. He is neutralizing gas. And he does lose his item. Hayapa Berry, which is huge for Hisuian Braviary in the back. Uh, what do I want to go into now? I mean, we could go back to... Ooh, no, to Strange Team. My issue is he can burn my Metagross right here, right now. I don't want to go Hisuian Braviary either. Do I? I don't... I don't believe I want to. Uh, Braviary... Versus Weezing. I should still have some time left here. I know what, I'm just going to go into Metagross. I think that's the safe play. Like I could have gone... Uh, what's his face, but... He does Shadow Ball, but I am Salt Breath, so this should bounce. Yeah, that just bounces. And now I just... He doesn't really have a switch into Meteor Mash, so I'm just going to put Meteor Mash. So he does have Shadow Ball, so that's good to know. I'm, I get, I'm guessing he was assuming maybe like me going into my... Uh, what's it called? My Assuming Braviary. If I could get a, um, her, uh, what's it called, a, an agility off, that would be huge. He does proceed to sack. I'm assuming he knows I'm Assault Vest, and I think he knows that low kick should be able to kill from here. Yeah, it definitely kills me, 100%. comes in. He does up to 340. I am at 289. So I do have a 6% chance to live. Jolly, but I don't want to risk that. Uh, I need to sack something. What mod do I not need anymore? I, I still need the Dragonite. I still need the Iron Valiant for revenging, if anything. I don't think I need Willis Flat. He doesn't really do anything here because the Mana Fee didn't come, King Gambit is dead, so I'm just going to sack Willis Flat. Okay, he does click Knock Off. Bro. 
<laughs> that did a lot. <laughs> oh man, Tinted Lens is crazy. I'm gonna U turn. I mean, here's the thing. He. I just go into my, uh. What's it called? My, uh. My Iron Valiant. Alright. What's he want to go into? This? Okay. I just U turn out. Going to Dragonite. What monsters does he have left? He has a Latios. 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 He has a Latios left. Yeah. And a Lycanroc. So I don't win with uh, this yet. I didn't want to go into my. Uh, my Swedian uh, Graviary either, because Dark Claw can still do a good chunk of damage to me. I think what I'm going to do is... I'm going to Roost. He likes a U-turn, so that does knock me out of... Um, what's it called? The... It does knock me out of uh, multi-scale range when I Roost, but I'm poisoned anyway, so it doesn't matter. Just getting the Roost off allows me to handle it for later on. He does go into Latios. Do I want to make a crazy play? No. We just go into Metagross. At plus one, Metagross should still love a Shadow Ball. Um, I don't think I'm able to take two Shadow Balls though, right off rip, if he clicks Shadow Ball here. So Metagross would be going down. He does just Shadow Ball right off rip, good play on his part. Yeah, I am unable to take two. I can't switch either. So what that damage tells me is, I think this is Soul Doom. Yeah, I did like 158, so that's like either it's Choice Specs or Soul Doom. I'm going to knock off though. He does the Shadow Ball again. Alright, so Metagross goes down. Wait, what if he was Soul Doom? Oh yeah, that's Choice Specs. So this is a Choice Specs Latios, which I can take advantage of later on. I'm just going to go into Hunter Part 3 here. He doesn't really have a Spirit Break switch in, so I'm just going to click that. Yeah, that just goes down. Latios going down is huge for Dragonite. I can spam Earthquake once I get a D-Dance off. So I just need to keep Iron Valiant alive. You can go Sneasler, and honestly, I have to sack probably Zarude. Where he goes Lycanroc? Is this a Scarf set? Wait, 
Wait, is this dust? Does he have dust on his team? Yeah, that's dust. Where's that? Midday, I think it's midday. It's supposed to be midday. Uh, ooh. If he's double scarf, that's really bad for me. I'm just gonna CC, I think. Actually, no, let's, let's sack Zarud. He's not life or anything. Okay, how much does he do the dragon? With just play her off. There's like 35. I'm gonna go Dragonite. And I'm just gonna Earthquake. I'm really physically bulky, so I should be able to live a hit. So it's coming down to a 3v3. Iron Valiant is still alive. Dragonite is alive and not really healthy. It's going to come down to, I think, uh, my Hisuian Braviary. As long as my Iron Valiant stays out of range of Sucker Punch from low kicks, I think I'm okay. He withdraws. What's he going to? What's he sacking, I guess? Plague. Low kicks. Alright, does Extreme Speed take out Locus from here? Yeah, Extreme Speed should take out Locus. So I'm just going to Extreme Speed. Definitely kills me. I don't think I stay in. I think Play Rough also has a chance to kill. If he Play Roughs, hmm. I don't need. I don't need this anymore. I don't need Iron Valley anymore. If he Stone Edges, that's great. I can see the Scarf. He Rock Blast, and he misses. Okay, that sucks. I, I apologize for that miss. That's huge. I'm going to Spirit Break. So the plan is, if he goes with this Nasler, I and he lives, I sack off my uh, Sweeney Braveberry. He does go with this Nasler. Does he live? He 
does live. His special attack fell. Huge. Oh, okay. He dies to spikes and switch back in, so that's okay. I... close combat. He does click player up. Now, does player up kill Dragonite from where I'm at? Say I'm at like... Say 50%. Player up, player up does not kill me. If he's max speed jolly, if he's max speed adamant, I believe it does. No, I should still live with Dragonite. Oh, but here's the thing. Oh crap. I think I have to go with Swing Braviary. We're going to Terra, and we're going to Agility. I think that's the play. Four forty. Oh god, he still has speeds. Oh, well, it's the play either way. Yeah, he withdraws. He's going to sack off the, the Swing Sneasel. I mean the Sneasler. <laughs> the Swing Sneasel, that's fine. I should have kept my Iron Valiant alive. That's on me. I kind of forgot that you could do that. If I kept Iron Valiant alive, I think I would be in a better position. Asper Wing kills. So I don't need to risk missing a hurricane. But Rock Blast also has a good chance to kill me. So I'm going to Esper Wing. Rock Slide, does that kill? It doesn't. Oh no! Oh, that's terrible! Oh, losing on the flinch like that? Alright, well. It is what it is. Just drag my boot. I don't think Dragon Knight lives. Yeah, Dragon Knight doesn't live. Alright. Maybe if he's jolly. If he's jolly, I can still not live. Alright. Uh, I need him to miss. Nope. Okay. Well. Wait, I live? You can't be serious. Bro. Are you serious? I lose like that? One, how did I. Oh, I was just calculating your spray beard. Sui. Bro. Wait. I lose like that? You can't be serious! I killed him twice at the end there! <laughs> uh, cool! Cool! This game is great! I love it! <laughs> Yay! Alright, see you next